On February 21, 1977, the city of Chicago was shocked by a horrific murder. Teresita Bassa, a respiratory therapist, was found dead in her apartment, under a flaming mattress with a butcher knife buried in her chest. The crime scene was gruesome, and the police were left with little to go on. They tried to track her stolen jewelry, but without any luck. They also failed to link any of the suspects to the crime. It seemed like an impossible case to solve, until an unlikely source of information emerged. Remy Chua, a co-worker who barely knew the victim. Chua was a medical technologist who worked at the same hospital as Bassa. One day, she began to experience strange, inexplicable events that left her feeling uneasy. It started with a dream that she had, in which she saw Bassa's killer. She didn't think much of it at first, but then strange things began to happen. One day, Chua started to speak in a strange voice that was not her own. She claimed that it was the voice of a woman who had been murdered. The voice spoke through Chua, giving details about the murder that only the killer could have known. Chua was not aware of what she was saying or doing, and she had no control over the situation. The people around Chua were understandably alarmed by her sudden change in behavior. They thought that she was possessed or mentally ill. They took her to see a psychiatrist, but the doctor was unable to explain what was happening to her. Chua continued to speak in the voice of the murdered woman, and she began to give out clues about the killer. At first, the people around Chua were skeptical about what she was saying. However, as she continued to reveal details about the murder, they started to believe that she was onto something. They encouraged her to keep talking, hoping that they could use her information to catch the killer. One day, Chua mentioned the name Alan Showery while speaking in the voice of the murdered woman. The name meant nothing to anyone at the time, but it would soon prove to be a vital clue. Chua continued to speak in the voice of the murdered woman, and she gave more and more details about the killer. Eventually, the police got wind of what was happening, and they decided to investigate Alan Showery. They discovered that he was a security guard who worked at the same hospital as Bassa and Chua. They also found out that he had been fired from his job just a few days before the murder. This was a motive for the crime. The police decided to bring Showery in for questioning. They asked him if he knew anything about the murder, but he denied any involvement. However, when they mentioned Chua's name, he broke down and confessed to the crime. Showery had killed Bassa because he was angry at being fired from his job. He had stolen her jewelry to make it look like a robbery gone wrong. He had then set fire to the mattress to cover his tracks. The case of Teresita Bassa's murder had been solved, 